It's like wearing a condom during sex. Welcome to the Tanuki Garage channel, guys. Um, where I actually will be posting vlogs from each, like, you know, now and then. Not too often. Um, if you guys do expect any cinematics, then I suggest you guys go watch a fucking film in a cinema. Um, no, wait, retake. Alright, uh, welcome guys. Um, this is the Tanuki Garage channel, and um, we will be vlogging here now and then about just, you know, daily life. And we'll be doing FAQs very often. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, um, the first location of the day would be going to Auto Express to change my tires. You can see I've got tires behind me. Uh, once in the trunk, because my tires are literally about to explode. The threads are showing. I see the metal, literally. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. Alright, finally arrived. Auto Express. Yeah, I have my own tires, but I just need them to be replaced. Uh, KDE. 999 R. Thank you. Where is he off to now? Don't know where this guy's gone off to. <laughs> Um, oh wait, no, never mind. They have a, another service area over here. Never knew that. Auto Express recently had a um, remodeling, I think. They expanded their garage. and then we'll get back right back all right this thing will even focus okay um got the tires out show you which tires they are these are the old ones that were on it's the uh Zestino's 255 35 i believe yeah there it is they're all 18 inch and if you check the tires from before you can see that oh my god that's, yeah that's really bad the left side isn't so bad the front tires aren't bad either. But yeah, the rears are in critical condition, I guess. Maintaining a BMW isn't really that cheap. Especially a 2 Series, because, you know, everything's imported. Brake pads. I recently got my brake pads um, ordered. I placed my orders from Kush, from Kodia Beamer. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for them. Because if you check the um, vehicle information here right now, you can actually see the brake system warning. Continue journey at a moderate speed. Brake pads need to be replaced. And that's the reason for that red light over there. Um, but otherwise, there shouldn't be any other problem with this car. There you go. Engine oil. There you go. That's the only thing that needs to be changed. And I do need to have a service done. So front brake pads are okay. Everything else is fine. But I do need to get a normal general checkup done. Yeah, um, pushing around 380 horsepower. That's rated, but I do believe it's around 340 somewhere. We've got it stage two tuned locally, it's locally here. Yeah, it was, do it was done by my friend Kush from uh, Code Your Beamer. Uh, Code Your Beamer. Yeah. Do you want to be in the vlog? Yeah. All right. Say hi to the channel. 
Hi guys. <laughs> Kevin here. All right, what do you think about the car? I love the ones. Yeah? It looks so nice. That's good, good, good. Yeah, I agree. They're very compact. Is this your car? All right. Can I, do you mind if I take it? All right, what service are you getting done? Uh, tires. New tires. All right. If I do have to rate all the different types of garages in Kenya, I do really think Auto Express stands out. I mean, it's clean, they're professional, and they really maintain your car like it's theirs. You know, some shit garages, sorry, will just, you know, treat it like it's shit. I mean, look, they even put a seat cover for you, which I find insane in Kenya, to be honest. Um, their tools are proper. So, and their mechanics are also really good. Let me see if I can get a better view for you guys. Oh yeah, exactly. If you guys do see that, <laughs> the threads are currently visible. <laughs> Um, I don't think the left side is that bad. <laughs> yeah, the left side is not bad. But they are in critical condition. It's a very clean car. The front tires are holding up well. Still a bit of tire left. I did realize that I've got like a lot of negative camber on my wheels. Like if you look at this, you see it's like bending inwards and the rear wheel as well. So that might be the reason the inside are getting torn and eaten while the outside are actually okay. Or it could be because of my drifting um, that I've been doing around. Um, on track of course, of course. <laughs> For all of the viewers thinking that I got a really bad like driving skill, one, these scratches are not from me. These scratches are not from me. Well, yeah, they are from me, but indirectly, I would blame the track at Whistling Morans because um, I do take my car there on to track, and um, the apexes on some of the corners are really high. So what happens is every time I do like a drift, for example, it scratches the tire here when it hits like the apex, and. Uh, this side is worse. Oh wow, wait, there's a cut in the tire. Oh. This tire isn't that bad. But the front tires are bad because the sidewalls are really thin. And what happens if I drift on a high speed and the angle is really high and if the corner is steep, it's the apex. And the rubber basically folds and the rim touches the floor. Or the apex. So yeah. Yo, these are really bad. <laughs> Just look at them. <laughs> the metal threads. Yeah, it was about time I changed these tires. If you guys need any Zestinos, um, let me know. And I will let you guys know where I get mine from. Um, none of them are imported. I actually found them locally here at a really affordable price. Um, yeah, just let me know. Take a look at the two rear tires. Oh my god. That would have been dangerous actually. 
I just found out that my um, exhaust mount is loose. Can you see that play over there? This needs to be tightened. So now once that tightened, this rubber now plays the role in absorbing the shock like that. Much better. If you guys walk into a garage and you guys don't have dirty hands like this at like midway, you guys are doing something wrong. I mean, you guys are the customers, but you know, you really need to take care of your own car. You always need to, you know, you, you, don't, you don't be that one Karen that sits down, just wait for the car to be finished. You guys have to spectate them, make sure these guys don't make any new scratches around the rims and actually do the proper. All right, that's a, that's a car advice. <laughs> tires and doing the balancing for all four of them as well um, yeah it's not bad not bad because you know I got a I never buy my tires from here I get them and then I just use their service for just swapping the cars all righty um, the next stop for the day is going to be Kyra Raps. Not because I'm getting a wrap there, but I'm meeting um, Kodia Beamer, Kush, um, to get a new mapping done on my car. And uh, I'll show you what it's about. We have made it to Kyra Raps. First car I spot is Nadia's Evo. New car, my car. And Kush, say hi. Yo, what's up? This is the man behind uh, Kodia Beamer. And he's gonna flash my car for me today for pops and bangs. I want more flames in my car. It's the man over there. Georgie Beamer. He's got a six Suzuki Swift though. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It's a manual. It's got a bigger screen than most of the cars though. It's really dope. Connected while running the maps. Kush, 
Why do you connect the, uh, the batteries? Why do you need to charge them? We've discussed this. <laughs> it's good practice. Yeah? It's good practice. <laughs> say, it. <laughs> say it. It's like wearing a condom during sex. It's just good practice. <laughs> good shit. <laughs> A few moments later. Right, it's uh, finally a bit dark, as you can see. It's a perfect time to get some night shots. My brother's just washing his car over here. It's a pretty sick car. I think that's a good way to end today's vlog but just before I go I will be answering a few questions that I've um, that you guys have asked me from today's story that I posted um, if you guys do not know I have an Instagram page and I do post quite often and, like I ask questions for example um, yeah I will be choosing like three or four a couple of them just for today randomly um, okay number one are you a Kenyan citizen um, no, I'm not. Um, I am South Korean. Um, when will we see 222 next? Um, there, it's, there's like a 90% chance that it will be at the Tuner Fest that's on the 7th of May this year. So you guys should save the date. I mean, 10% is like if do thing if things do go wrong, then you know there's always you know it's always good to leave room for that. Um, but yeah, we can guarantee that it will be there. So if you guys do want to see come check 222 out, two, two, out, then um, you guys can buy a ticket for the Tuner Fest. Just hit me up on Instagram at GTR Tanuki, and uh, I'll get you guys linked up. And maybe also give you guys a discount. More videos of 222 on the road, maybe? Yeah, sure. I will get you guys that um, in the future. AMG or M? Okay, that's a question that's always trendy. Um, I'm not going to be biased in any of these questions. Um, I we well our Tanuki family personally favorizes M due to its performance. Um, that's because you know AMG is known to use most of their budget in interior, right? Um, so for example, a BMW 2 Series would look like this. So this could be compared to a C Class, for example, a um, C200, for example. Um, so. It all depends, again. Um, the C200, for example, will give you better interior, but worse performance. And we're talking about the AMG package here, because this is an M235i, so it's like the uh, M Sports, but not really an M. Um, our family doesn't really consider this car an M. We only consider M cars when they're one digit, for example, an M2, an M3, or an M5, or an M6, or an M8, you know. Um, but yeah, we don't really consider this 235i series an M.
Which fuel does the R35 use? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I did mention that in my TikTok. Um, if you guys don't know, we also have a TikTok at GTR Tanuki. Um, which fuel does the R35 use? We use the Sunoco 260 GT Plus. Um, obviously, this is imported. You can get that locally here. Well, if you do, then it's probably really expensive. Um, its octane is rated around 104 to 107, I think, I believe. And yeah. Alright, I think that's enough questions for today. Um, I will be answering more in the future. Just make sure you guys ask any questions um, every time I post on my story or just DM me. And uh, I will make it part of the vlog. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I didn't have much to post today, but you know, it was a Saturday, the weather's nice. Um, why not post? So, see you guys on the next one.